Welcome to BC Mnemonics. In this video, we will be picking up where we left off with the lunar volvel and using its uh, lunar output value to determine the position of the moon uh, in the sky using the astrolabe, tracking its movement through the day, throughout the day. So uh, a brief recap on what we did to get to this alignment. Uh, first, we set the date using the solar pointer. It is currently uh, May 31st. So we set this pointer right here to May 31st. It's kind of covered, but there's May, as you can see, May 31st is where we're currently pointed. Uh, and we also set the lunar, the lunar age using this lunar age scale. So depending on how many days it's been since the last new moon, you will position the lunar pointer uh, at a different, uh, different place along this scale. It's been 23 days since the last new moon. So we have it right on 23. Now with this, we can read quite a few bits of information, including the, um, the current declination of the sun, the zodiac degree, the number of night hours, which is eight, um, roughly, uh, that is latitude specific. But we can also see the zodiac degree of the moon, the current declination. So what is that? It's 20 degrees of Pisces, as you can see down here. Now this will tr change quite rapidly uh, as the days progress, but for this day, at this moment, um, 20 degrees of Pisces. Now, what can we do with this information? Well, we can take it over to the astrolabe and use it to model the position of the moon and simulate its motion throughout the sky, just as we can with the sun or stars with the base astrolabe. Now, before we do this, it's worth mentioning that the moon does not sit perfectly on the ecliptic and its ecliptic plane is uh, it's slightly inclined and it, it's not entirely predictable with the standard ecliptic we have here. So keep in mind that these values will be approximate, um, but for demonstration purposes, it will do just fine. And um, it's fairly accurate for observation. Now the first step, just as if we were using the astrolabe uh, to tell the time or to model the movements of the sun or stars or anything like that, we will simply set the date as we usually would. So currently it is 10 degrees of Gemini, I will set the rule right there to 10 degrees of Gemini. So that's the current date locked in. Uh, and with this, I could do quite a bit. Um, if you've seen the astrolabe videos, you know how this works, but I can model the position of the sun in the sky, the stars, I can see when the sun will rise and set, all those things. So, but what's unique about the, the partnership of these two instruments is that now I can not only do that for the sun, but also the moon. If I had some sort of almanac, I'd, I could also position the planets on the ecliptic and, and see when they rise and set. Um, but for now, we're using the moon. So moon, as I said, 20 degrees of Pisces. And for this demonstration, I'll just be modeling that using a sticker. So 20 degrees of Pisces is right here. I'll position this sticker so that its lowermost pointer points to, essentially represents the moon. So right here, this is the moon. Uh, this being the pointer I was referencing. Okay, so we have we have our moon. We have our sun. We have our moon. Um, we can keep our rule on the sun for now. Um, but let's start off with a simple problem. When what time will the moon rise today? Well, let's position it to the horizon, the eastern horizon, and take our reading. From the, um, from the position of the sun. So we have 12, roughly 1 a.m., slightly past 1, we could say 105 a.m., um, but 105 a.m. is when the sun rises, or moon rises, rather. The sun, as you can see, is still quite a bit below the horizon. Now, as we, as we move the reed, we can see the course of the moon throughout the sky. And when the sun begins to rise, the moon is already at right about 30 degrees up in the sky. Uh, as the sun continues to rise, the moon gets even higher and it culminates, the moon culminates at right about 7 a.m., a little bit before 7 a.m. Now we can see the moon progresses through the sky and sets at 
uh, right about 1225. Um, and from there, we can see it dips below the horizon and continues its path. So uh, this has been a demonstration of how the moon can be modeled with the partnership of the Lunar Volvo and Astrolabe. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration, and thank you for watching.